UK has had a minimum wage for the last 15 years, but how has it shaped the country? And can it be seen as an example for Germany who will be implementing it next year? I've come to speak to David Norgrove, the chair of the Low Pay Commission, to find out. Well, David, since 1999, how would you say minimum wage has shaped Britain? Well, it certainly helped the low paid. The evidence is clear that the pay of the people at the bottom has risen faster than it would otherwise have done, and faster than average earnings and faster than prices. So it certainly helped the low paid, and all the research that we and others have done has shown that it's had no effect on employment of low paid people. So it's done what it was intended to do. Well, 15 years on, and even the architect of minimum wage, Sir George Bain, said that it isn't working. Do you think maybe it's now run its course as an artificial way to bolster an economy? He didn't say it wasn't working. He said it's worked extremely well, but he'd like to push it further. Uh, and there's certainly a case for some of the things that he's mentioned. I actually think that it's working well, and the risk is that if you overload it with too many things, it starts to break down. That's always a risk with something that's successful. Well, you did say that minimum wage doesn't affect unemployment, but this does contradict a lot of economists. I shared that view right back at the beginning, that the risk with any kind of minimum wage is that it causes unemployment. But I think most economists have now come around to the view that it doesn't, if it's provided it's set at a sensible level, that it doesn't cause unemployment. We've had over 100 research studies done by academic economists from around the country over the last 15 years, and none of them has found any significant effect. Occasionally you get one that happens to show one effect, but it's not replicated elsewhere. So I think we're pretty confident that it hasn't affected employment. Minimum wage does fall quite short of the living wage, so in that context, is there really any point in it? It's not the same as a living wage. It's not designed for people to live on. It's designed as a floor. And actually, even the living wage isn't, isn't really enough for people to live on because it doesn't take account of how many hours people work or what their family circumstances are, just as the, the minimum wage doesn't. Really, you need to look to the tax, tax and social security systems to reflect what people need to live on. Well, it has been suggested that minimum wage increases have been too low, which has had a direct impact on consumer demand, weakening it substantially. Do you think this is the case? It's really hard to say what would have happened otherwise. What you can say is that during this downturn, uh, the pay, the minimum wage has fallen less in real terms than, than, other, than other earnings. The pay of the people at the bottom has behaved quite differently from previous recessions, where they've tended to do less well than others. Should it be used as an instrument to raise consumer demand? I don't think so. During the global recession, do you think minimum wage was a help or a hindrance? Well, there's no doubt it helped. The pay of the low paid was protected better than it ever has been in certainly since back to the early 70s. So I think it did its job. As of next year, Germany, Europe's strongest economy, will implement minimum wage. Why now, do you think? As I read it, it's partly a matter of politics. Germany has a very different wage bargaining structure from the UK uh, with different kinds of arrangements for it. Well, the UK brought minimum wage in during a time of prosperity, but Germany is still recovering from the recession. So do you think a shock to the European markets could throw the ship off course? It seems to me unlikely that a minimum wage in Germany will affect the whole European economy in that way. And also Germany actually has been recovering very strongly and growing, growing fast over the last few years. So actually, from a German point of view, it seems to me they're introducing it at, at, a, diff at a point when they're, they're in a reasonably strong economic position. Do you think the UK then can act as a model for Germany so it can learn from how we've implemented minimum wage? Well, we've had people from Germany coming to look at the way we've done it, as I'm sure they have at, at other countries. Um, and so uh, they have tried to learn, I think, um, very sensibly from other countries' experience. Well, finally, you said that minimum wage has no effect on unemployment, but is that the same for youth unemployment? The evidence internationally is that a minimum wage is likely, if anywhere, to have an effect on young people. That's why in the UK we've got rates for young people which are lower than they are for adults. And in fact, the Low Pay Commission, with some reluctance over the last few years, has held back pay increases for young people out of fear that there was some effect of appearing on young people. But we'll, we'll have to judge that over the course of the next year or two as well. So how do you see minimum wage developing them for the UK? Well, our objective is to raise it as high as we can as a recommendation to government, provided it doesn't affect employment of the low paid. And we are now seeing quite a strong recovery in the UK. We've recommended a a much more substantial increase th this year than we have done in past years. 
uh, and we hope very much hope that we'll be able to carry on doing that. David, thank you. It's a pleasure.